Hello, this is Michael Schultz coming to you from Launch Novice. Uh, I am going to attempt to show you how to use Genesis hooks in this video tutorial. There's two ways to do this. Um, there actually could be more ways, but these are the two primary ways. Uh, one involves a plugin and one involves editing PHP code. Um, let's go ahead and start with the more complicated method, which is editing PHP code. Now, if you go into the back end of your site, uh, for me, this is apexrush.com, which is my development site and server. Um, and then I go under appearance. You should have Genesis installed, which is the parent theme. Um, and then you should have a child theme. Genesis has a lot of child themes. You can download those and install them and edit the functions.php file within the child theme not Genesis itself, because when you update the theme, Genesis will replace that functions.php file and overwrite the changes that you made. All right, so let's start with looking at some of the code here inside of the theme. Um, I'm going to open up the, th the website itself and show you what a post looks like. Yeah, you can see that I don't have a header in this one. That's probably because of the template being uh, bare bones, which you can change inside of the edit area. But regardless, I'm going to go back to the home page and we have our sidebar here. So I want to add some text above the search area inside of the widgets. Uh, you can add hooks pretty much anywhere in Genesis. There's the header area, there's your post area, there's before, there's after, there's the footer, there's before the footer, there's after the footer. And you can actually look at a visual hook guide. Uh, it's genesistutorials.com forward slash visual dash hook dash guide and that will give you a visual indicator of where most of the hooks are inside of a Genesis theme. Alright, so we're just going to grab one of those hooks. In my case it's going to be Genesis before sidebar widget area right there and we are going to edit our themes functions.php file and you would use an FTP client or maybe your uh, cPanel's uh, file uh, browser editor to add a Genesis hook. For me, I'm just going to go inside of my, um, my WordPress file editor, which I don't recommend using this particular method to edit the files directly because if you do end up mistyping inside of this functions.php file within the Genesis or the, uh, the WordPress framework, it'll crash WordPress and you will no longer be able to edit the file right here. So I would say try it within um, an FTP client first or uh, your file editor within your cPanel first so that if you do make an error and you reload this page and it turns into a 500 error or you can't edit the site or access the WP admin area, you can then control Z or command Z and undo the changes that you've made and get back to where you were. So, that being said, let's go ahead and add a function real quick. And I'm going to call this function my text before sidebar. And we have our first function. And I'm going to say echo this text should show up before the sidebar. So contextually, you have your function, you declare that, and then you add a space, and then you put in your function name, and then you put parentheses there. Uh, this is where you put your arguments, and then you have, uh, we're going to keep that blank, and then we're going to have our brackets, and we've got to keep our code within these brackets. You can echo anything here. You can echo HTML, like an image tag, or you can echo text, or you can uh, put a script in there, whatever you want, really. Uh, you can put PHP in there. Obviously, echo is PHP. And, uh, but for now, we're just going to have some text in there and see if it works. So, <clears throat> now we are going to add the action. We've got to tell it where to go now. And we're going to say, we're going to put the, that uh, hook in there, Genesis before sidebar widget area. And then we're going to just go ahead and define that this is where it should go. So we're going to say Genesis before sidebar widget area, specifically, oops. Okay, we're just going to stop guessing there. Specifically right here. And then what we're going to put there. 
All right, so this is a shot in the dark. Let's go ahead and see if it works. And since I'm using Cloudflare, I'm going to clear my cache real quick. Okay, and if we go to the home page, we can see that the text is showing up before the sidebar. Now, that was doing it directly using PHP inside of a functions file, which is a little bit more advanced. Congratulations if you got through that and successfully added some code to your site. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to install a plugin provided by Genesis for Genesis that allows us to create and uh, not create, but place code within hook areas um, as predefined boxes. So let's go back into Apex Rush. And we are going to go to our plugins area. I'm going to add a new plugin, and we're going to just type in Genesis hooks. Should be Genesis simple hooks. And we're going to install that. Activate it. All right, um, my plugins are out of date. Keep your plugins updated. I didn't, oops, bad practice. Okay, so inside of the Genesis area, we now have a new menu option called Simple Hooks. Go ahead and click that. And before we were editing the before sidebar area, so we can go back to our visual hook guide, grab the hook that we want. Um, so this time I'm just gonna do it before the loop actually before all the content in general, and uh, I'm just gonna copy that bad boy and I'm gonna find that inside of my hooks area. All right, Genesis before content hook. Um, so instead of using the code to uh, define where I want that, it's already got a predefined area here and I can just enter in some text. I can execute short codes or PHP inside of the hook itself, but since we're still working with text, I'm just gonna say, hello world. This is in a hook area inside of this text area here, and we're gonna go ahead and save that and preview just to see if that pops up in addition to our other code that we added to the functions.php file. As you can tell, this is a vastly easier option. And you can see it's popping up before the content area. Now it's aligned right, but you can, you can see that that's clearly outside of the content area, which is above um, the sidebar and the uh, post itself. Okay, so here's your content pieces. You got your main content area and then you've got your sidebar area and that's above both. Um, but anyway, I'll go ahead and test that and throw a couple of random hooks in there. Um, I would recommend using, if you're not familiar with PHP, I would recommend definitely trying the uh, Genesis uh, Simple Hooks plugin rather than PHP. I know it's an additional plugin and people are not really keen on installing plugins or extra plugins uh, if they can do it directly in the code. It's totally up to you. I uh, hope it works out for you.